Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I am Stephanie, if you're new here. I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday. And last week I wasn't able to get one out because we are starting homeschool this week. So things have been a little crazy. Um, but I told you guys that I wanted to make some good this week and I thought of shrimp. So we, mm, a handful of us in the house like shrimp and this is a new recipe so i'm hoping that you guys enjoy this one um i have some asparagus in the back here cooking up all i did for that was cut up and rinsed and then um, i have a bunch of butter and garlic in there cooking down i just have it on low so we're just gonna um kind of saute them up we usually like having that uh, sometimes on the side with some of our meals and it tastes really good so I thought that would be a perfect add-on with the shrimp today. So what I ended up doing today with the shrimp, these had the tails and everything on and I just took them off. I ended up taking some paper towel and blotting them dry. I wanted to have them dry so that I could add the mix to them. Um, another thing that I ended up doing with this shrimp is I ended up thawing it out first just because it was frozen when I got it. And you don't really want that to happen. We want it to be nice and dry before we put it in. So all we're going to add to this is the mix that we're going to add and nothing else. So you want these to be nice and dry before you put them in with what we're going to be adding with us today. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do that quick. Um, so the mix that you're going to be using is um, butter. I put um, granulated garlic. I ended up having to go get some of that because I usually just have um, regular garlic in the fridge. So I went and got some of that. And then I also put some cayenne pepper, just a little bit of cayenne pepper. If you guys don't like anything spicy, then just leave that part out. And then I also added salt in here too. I'll leave the recipe down in the description. You guys can follow that too. So um, what I'm gonna do is just add the shrimp inside here, coat them evenly, and then I'm also gonna tell you how to start up your air fryer. I'm not gonna do a preheat today, so we're just gonna cook it as is, and I will go through that in a minute. What you're gonna wanna do is just uh, coat them evenly with the butter mixture. I melted the butter first before I added all my seasonings. And the bag of shrimp that I got was just 12 ounces. So if you want more or less, you could add more to the recipe and then just double your seasoning that goes on top here. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm going to line the bottom with parchment paper. A lot of times that I've done other videos before, I've lined it with foil and I poked holes in it. Today we are just going to be using parchment paper just because I want a nice base for my shrimp to go on. You can use a pan if you want to do it that way but I'm just going to add the parchment paper today and I'm just going to place my shrimp in there. Try to space them out evenly so that it cooks evenly. So I'm just going to put these right in here. I should be able to get all of these in here. I have, uh, I think this is uh, eight quarts or six quarts. I don't remember which one I have in there. Um, but I have a bigger base here. So I have more room to work with and put more in. So there's a lot of room in here. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside there. I was able to get them all in there. And then we are going to, let's see if you guys can see, there you go, you guys can see. I'm gonna set it to 400 and we're gonna cook it for right now just six minutes. And if we need to cook them a little bit longer, we'll cook them a little bit longer. But I just wanna start out really low first, just so we don't burn them. Um, 
this is just kind of like an added treat to one of your meals if you want to do it that way if you want a full meal then maybe add some noodles and some sauce and stuff with your shrimp to make it a full meal but i'm just going to be doing this quick because i'm making it for myself for lunch today and i'm not making it for a meal so i'm not going to be adding this to anything or the kids aren't going to be probably having any of this either so this is just mainly for me okay so our shrimp is done and i'm gonna check on them to see if they are done and they look pretty done to me i cooked them for six minutes and i think that was perfect if you guys get different size shrimp than me then maybe you have to cook it a little bit longer um but i think i got like the biggest size i think i got the jumbo pack so i'm gonna plate these up quick see how they taste and i will show you what that looks like after i get that plated up Okay, so if you want to, you can take the extra stuff that's on your parchment paper and you can pour it on top if you would like. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I think that you just gotta be very careful so you don't burn yourself when you do that. But I'm not gonna add that today. What I am gonna add though today is some Parmesan cheese. So I'm using the coarse stuff. That's what I'm gonna be adding on top today. I'm also gonna top it with some salt and pepper. So you don't have to if you don't want to, but this is just how I want to make it. And a little bit of salt. I didn't add a lot of salt when I made the mixture, so that's why I'm adding a little bit more now. If you guys can't use salt, then um, maybe season it with something else that you're able to use. Um, but this is just how the uh, recipe goes. So this is what it, let's see if I can show you guys. It's kind of... There we go, turn down the light a little bit for you guys to see. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm excited to give this a try. So hopefully you guys are able to follow that really easy. If you guys have any questions, just leave me a comment down below. The recipe and everything down below in the description for you guys to follow. Everything with this recipe is pretty easy and it's really quick to make. So that only took around maybe like 10 minutes for prep time, depending on, or prep and making it all together so pretty quick um so i set the air fryer for 400 minutes for six minutes and it ended up turning out perfect so tell me down in the comments down below if you guys have tried this before let me know if you guys end up cooking it up hopefully you guys like today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one